Guys, welcome back to Minecraft Safe Tech Ages, episode 14. In this episode, we jump straight into action. Uh, we're going to make some useful tools, some useful charms, uh, starting off with the sleep charm, which allows you to insta sleep. Moving on, we're making the gluttony charm, which is used for insta, um, insta eat. Yes, uh, very useful. Uh, because you save a lot of time uh, let me make it put it in in its place so it doesn't waste inventory space unfortunately there's only one place for a charm yeah. sleep charm see that one second one millisecond maybe maybe half a second I don't know and then the food boom milliseconds next thing we're making is the climbing gloves guys very useful to have especially if you want to go to the beneath and mine for some aquamarine next thing i want to make is a well bucket uh, you only need an iron bucket and a rope and uh, if you place it next to a source, a water source block, it starts filling in with water. Just one more second. Noise. So you might have figured out uh, where this is going. Uh, I'm trying to build a wooden basin uh, system, which allows me not to run to a lake or a, or a water source block and uh, use a bucket and fill up the wooden basins I wanted this to be done automatically and uh, I believe this is one of the best ways to do so uh, also as you can see here the what you call the casting channels must be placed this way not facing the wooden basin but facing one one each other and then you have the water flowing from one side to the other also it was uh, not very fast for me i mean you can leave it running and you come back to a lot of uh, filled wooden basins but i wanted to it to be faster so i made three well buckets three sources and i can just click on three of them together and i have a very nice working wooden basin system <laughs> very nice all working Alright, so I want to check out if uh, breaking the celestial crystal clusters will give us two stardust instead of one. I've set up a totem pole which gives us luck three. Let's test it out. Oh, nice. Let's let's check out the second one. Ah, uh, that's okay. Okay, so we got three instead of instead of two so 50 percent chance let's just uh, throw in more as you can see i've made some more liquid starlight and i'm just gonna throw the things we need into it the stardust oops stardust and a rock crystal and we'll grow them again and basically we'll keep doing that until we get loads and loads of stardust all right guys next thing i want to make is the sigil of the blood lamp from the blood magic mode to do so you'll need the blood lamp reagent uh, which requires two ashes a candle and a torch and a tartaric gem 
a tartaric gem in the hellfire forge to make a tartaric gem you need one shadow fragment one blue dye powder one ash and one bronze and you can use a demonic wheel so let's oh we have a demonic wheel nice so let's make these things what else do i need three bronze and three shadow fragments let's let's see how much does it use 171 Ooh, one one for each yeah we can use that right okay that's enough we'll need to take it out i see i see we'll use this in another one but next we need the blood lump reagent i think we can use this one yes we can first we need a candle which is two beeswax and a string a torch and two ashes ashes are made with oak sorry with wood in any kind of uh, furnace stone grill or furnace also guys check this out instant sleep from the sleep charm very nice so we have the candle we have two ashes let's see one candle one torch two ashes it not working wait what minimum 200 wheel not going to guys not going to work right so then we need this we need this we need the scented sword and uh, to make it we need the black quartz or an iron sword but we're going to use the black quartz sword and what else do we need petty tartaric gem let's see I think how much will it use nothing very nice now what you do with this you can uh, we can go to the hunting dimension but i mean you can kill any kind of monsters hunting dimension is just uh, easily available oh my god oh my god we almost died so you just need to kill monsters this sword will be uh, very very not efficient at the beginning but as you progress and you gather wheel inside your tartaric gems it will become more powerful i hope i don't die it insta it nice let's see all right then will then will we need 200 guys let's see if we can get it i'll be back okay guys so a pity tartaric gem is not enough it stores up to 64 wheel we need a lesser tartaric gem and for that we need a mushroom so i'm going inside the cave in hope to find a mushroom and i'll be back all right guys this was easy we found some mushrooms let's uh, make the less lesser gem yes 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 all right guys fermented eye boom and then lesser tartaric gem is i wonder can we use this one so fermented eye shadow fragment bronze ignit ingot ignit ingot and demonic will how much how much do we need drain minimum 60 oh come on now can we do it like this i think we have 60 no we don't all right guys i'll be back, back. all right we got the 60 wheel 
So I think we can use it now. See? Very nice. Very nice. Can we transfer it? Like here? Can we transfer this energy here? Huh. I'm sure there's a way. I'm sure there's a way. Just don't know how to do it. How about if I just craft it? Nope. Doesn't work. All right. I'll be back when this is up to 200. 200. Let's do it, guys. All right, guys, it's up to the max. Um, honestly, it was so hard, so hard. But we got one iron sword from a frost knight and a few witch hats, which we will never use. But yeah, and uh, I think I used one and one and one sword plus another 70 percent so and yeah i think i died twice so it was quite hard hard to be okay yay it works and it will only use 10 10 will which is very nice noise now we need uh, this thing the rainforest slate and the arcane ashes and i think you just click down with the with the arcane ashes then you right click with the blood lamp reagent and right click with the reinforced slate and this is how you get your sigil of blood lamp and what this does i believe you can just place let's go to a dark place find the cave here's a cave all right, let's get rid of the torches. Hello. Why is it so bright? Have anything? Oh, I left everything. So yeah. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Like an uh, infinite source of light. This is amazing, guys. It doesn't use anything, not even our blood, and it's like, yeah, the most, uh, I don't know, useful torch tool I found so far. Guys, I think this is it for today. A short episode with some useful tips and tools that you can uh, craft in H2. I will continue farming uh, Stardust off camera and uh, I will get some Aquamarine using the climbing gloves and yeah just we will progress in the next episode. So guys I hope you enjoyed uh, the episode and I wish you all a good morning, a good day and a good night. Thank you for watching. Bye.